We just got an EP out called Hydrun, and that features a remix with goat sounds instead of vocals. Now, which, that was just a crazy idea we had that we, we needed to have like a separate version, something different, and uh, it's just an idea I came up. I don't remember who came up with it, but it might have been alcohol involved. <laughs> Usually it is. I figure you never play it live this way, do you? Who knows? Yeah, well, we're, we're actually auditioning goats as we speak, so yeah. as soon as we find the right goat, we will try to do it live. Wacken 2024 und hier in der EMP Backstage Group Area die Rhythmussektion von Amon Math, Jocke und Chet. You're very busy lately. You're touring a lot. You just come from Bulgaria and Turkey. So how is this whole European run going? Well, it, it's going great. We're, as, as you said, we're, this is the fifth gig tonight and we still have one month ahead. But it, it feels great, great shows. Tonight's gonna be awesome. And is there anything special for us here in Wacken? Well, you will have to come and see. I will, of course. <laughs> and you're going to South America soon. That is something special I can imagine, right? Yeah, it's always good, good shows in South America. I mean, are the crowds different from country to country in the reactions? Or is it basically the same? I mean, the, the audience, metalheads all over the world is usually pretty much the same. But they have in, in uh, South America, for example, they do a lot of football chants or singing uh, between the songs, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, but th there are differences all over the world, but the main core is the same. You have an amazing live production with huge three-dimensional figures and scenes. Who come up with that? Was the band involved as well in this whole concept? Yeah, we, we do uh, all everything that's on stage. Everything we do comes from the band. Uh, so we, we're involved in everything and then we just hire people to help us build what we need. Merchandise as well? Yeah, we're involved in all that too. So we, we try to make sure that whatever we release, it's, it comes from, uh, from us, from the heart. And being so busy on the road, I figure you didn't find the time to write on new material so far, do you? We're, we're working uh, whenever we have time, so there's, st there's still uh, this stuff going on, even when we're on tour, it's stuff is always, uh, we're working on stuff all the time. Okay, when we met last time, you just joined the band, like seven years ago or so at Summer Breeze. Yeah. So all your expectations, which you have back in the day, did they got fulfilled? Is it living the dream or did you expect something different? Of course it's living the dream. Um, I don't see a much difference from, from then to now, but it's just, Just good, you know, good fun. We just got an EP out called Hydrun, and that features a remix with goat sounds instead of vocals. But even Johan didn't know whose idea it was, but I can imagine there was alcohol involved, right? <laughs> you guys guess. <laughs> No, which, that was just a crazy idea we had that we, we needed to have like a separate version, something different. And uh, it's just an idea I came up. I don't remember who came up with it, but it might have been alcohol involved. <laughs> Usually it is. How do you like the idea yourself? Funny? Oh yeah, it was funny, but we, we, it was a bit rushed though. We, we wanted to work a bit more on it, but we didn't have time, so. But it was, it was a cool idea. It was fun, fun to have it out there. Yeah. But I, I figure you never play it live this way, do you? Who knows? Yeah, well, we're, we're actually auditioning goats as we speak, so yeah. as soon as we find the right goat, we will try to do it live. You need goats with some extra talent, I guess. <laughs> And you have your own single malt whiskey. So are you whiskey drinkers yourself? Do you like your single malt? Oh yeah. Yes. So it's, it's band approved as well? Yes. We, we were, of course, involved with uh, making it, so we got it to the exact point where, it, where, where we wanted it to be. Many tastings? Yes. How many? Well, it, it, it took a while, you know, we start, you started off, they send you a couple of different samples that they have, and then you start, you find the one that you like the most, and then from there you start the process of uh, finalizing the, the flavors, because they do, you know, they have different barrels, depending on what, what you're looking for. So we went to the distillery in Sweden, where they have this huge warehouse full of barrels, and uh, we tasted a lot of different stuff, and we said, we want this and that, a little bit more of this. So this is also something we, we really put our hearts into. So the whole band, everybody is a whiskey drinker? Yeah, pretty much. And how many bottles did you sign? I think it was 30, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. It was a few. 30, wow, maybe. so it's, it's really rare. Yeah. Great. And they're... And they're uh, numbered too so you like get your personal 
number. Sounds like a great fan item for sure. Last time I saw you in Oberhausen, you had the halo effect with you on tour. And I noticed now in Sweden, they will be with you on tour again. So are there other friends of yours or do you just like the music? Why did you pick them again? No, of course we know them since before, you know, since the Inflames times and, and the guys from the other bands. So yeah, we're, we're, we're old friends, and, but we also like their music and uh, we think it's a, a great band. So we're happy to have them with us for the, for the Scandinavian shows. And yeah, it's gonna be great fun. Yeah, great choice for sure. So we're looking forward to see you tonight. I'm on a math! Yeah!